Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a backspin. Now, this is the third time I've tried on this video. The first time, I managed to cut my feet off, so I couldn't shave my feet at all. Uh, second time, back we died, and hopefully this time it will work. Right, so, start off with what you want to do. Start, we're going to do a backward inside pivot. So a left backward inside pivot, and we're just going to push down. A lot of scooter pushes, so I'm going to pick the start off with. So you can just pump that foot round. So you're just going to see if you can pump that foot round and keep going. And so you're going to get a nice push because that's going to be the beginning of our backspin. Okay. From there, once you've got a few pushes done, as you're pushing, you're going to try and drop your toe on the little toe on your right foot. So it's going to be travelling around on a backward outside edge. You're going to pump, drop your toe down, that will glide on a backward outside edge on that right foot okay from there once you feel a little bit more comfortable with that okay then just going to try and lift your left foot over the top so you do a little scooter push and try and balance a scooter push and try and balance so we're not worrying about getting the spin to start off with we're just trying to get the, the backward outside edge and see if we can balance over that right foot okay Okay, so once you've done that a few times and you're getting used to the balance on that right outside edge, then we can try and uh, do a little bit more of a spin. So we're going to do the pretty much the same push. And then draw the feet up together into a cross position. So you're trying to get that ankles nice and close together and you're drawing it up nice and tall into your body. Now, you should be on the little toe, like I said, and it should just be touching the ice very lightly so you pretty much mostly on the ball of the foot, that little toe is touching the eyes just so it helps keep it balanced, it doesn't let it wobble around as much. Um, with the arms, we're going to go from the out position, the left arm is going to be slightly in front, and as you draw in, you're going to try and draw in over towards your right shoulder. So we're going to go from here and squeeze in slowly into that right side, okay? And that's going to help keep everything over the right hip as well. Okay, so once you've been a little bit more comfortable with your backspin from stand still from the pivot, what we're going to do is we're going to do it from a forward inside three. Okay, so what you want to do is hold that curve. So again, we're, we're going to aim to do that hook round, the same as the one foot spin. Okay, so we're going to curve round, down your knee, back on yourself and turn on your toe. So as you get that hook, you've got to make sure it hits that bottom toe pick. And from there, we're going to try and spin round that centre. Okay, now to start off with it might not spin straight away, but we're really working on, on getting the, the center of it. So we're only going to do a couple of turns. Okay, so also another thing we want to again have our arms in that hoop position. It's really going to help us kind of draw it in. Okay, so you can start with the hoop. You draw it around and turn and do a couple of turns around that first toe point where you, where you do the turn. Okay, and it's only a couple of turns and it's going to be quite a big centre but at least we're getting it in the centre to start off with. Okay, so from that curve we have that hoop position, turn around the centre and we'll get a couple of turns in that back spin position. Okay, now once you've got that and it's feeling a little bit more comfortable, you really want to draw in the spin again, so the same as what we did from the standstill and a little bit more advanced with the arms as well, maybe once, you, once you're getting back about that, we would actually start with our arms open. So we'd actually start with those arms open and curve around, do the same thing. So then it's still going to hit that hoop position and go over the right side. Okay? Now, as you're spinning, again, you're going from this, this hoop position, you curve around. You want to keep that hoop out over your right side. And as you cross, everything's going to draw in over your right hip. Okay, so you want to be more over your right side. And again, you're going to squeeze it down, draw the, the, the belly button in towards your back, and lift your think of lifting your ribs away from your right hip. Okay, it's really going to draw it up into the spin and give us a good tight position. Okay, with your ankles, you want the ankles together, but try your best not to point your toe because if you point your toe, that toe is going to hit the eyes. Okay, so we do want to flex your ankle a little bit so in this position here. Okay, Okay. so for the exit, what you want to do in your tight position, you're going to lift your knee up and out, 
and bend and press into the ice, okay? So we're gonna have a little bit of a, an active edge on this. I really think it's important to get that, that exit from the spin, okay? Rather, I see a lot of people kind of doing the back spin and doing the exit and not moving anyway, yeah? So we've actually got to create a little bit of pressure. So from the spin, what I want you to do is bend your knee and press into the arch, okay? So we're getting a little of press, so I think a good exercise for that is just from stand still and see if you can make it move a little bit. It's very, very difficult to do from stand still, but you just bend your knee and press into the arch, okay? And that's gonna really, get that acceleration out of the spin, so it gets you away from the spin, the exit of the spin. So we'll come across, bend, and press. And voila, there is your back spin. Thank you very much for watching. I'll put a little subscribe button down in front of me here, and our previous video will be up here. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.